And joining us now from Brussels is Mario Franzen. He's one of the organizers of the Parallel People Summit. Mario, thanks for joining us. Uh, to start, can you tell us what, what might we expect at this, this Parallel Summit? Uh, the Parallel Summit is uh, addressing uh, like several issues that will also be discussed on the official summit. So we organized meetings between uh, social movements from both of the continents to discuss issues that are important for both. We talk about climate change, we talk about social protection, we talk about war and peace. So these subjects will be discussed by uh, more or less uh, 1,000 people that are attending, uh, coming from more than 40 countries. And so how does the, the People Summit interact with the official EU CELAC event, Mario? What, what are the demands there of the social movements to the presidents and the heads of, the government, heads of government at the official summit? So uh, what we will do is that we will, will use some of the issues that they discuss. And tomorrow we have our meeting where we, with the social movements, will give our point of view on these discussions. So I cannot uh, run uh, forward uh, of the conclusions that we will make tomorrow. But uh, as such, as I heard the opening speech now of uh, Mr. Correa, I think uh, the idea that poverty is a result of injustice and is not just uh, a coincidence, is something that also the social movements will, uh, will address. And of course, the need of these social movements to keep uh, their involvement in a political process to uh, influence uh, the, the policy of the government. Mario, the progressive governments in Latin America clearly have a different approach to development than those of most European governments. How might we expect those differences to play out there in Brussels? Uh, I think uh, that, that there will be a tension, an important tension on, on this aspect. And not only between uh, Europe and the Latin American uh, continent, we even see it in, in Europe itself. Huh? The position that Greece is taking nowadays in the European Union is quite different than uh, most of the other European countries. So that's also why we uh, address the, 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 the situation of Greece also in the summit, because we have seen also problems with IMF, World Bank, etc. that are now with, with Greece. We saw them before in the Latin American continent. Mario Franzen joining us from Brussels as we prepare to see how this parallel summit plays out. Mario, thanks so much for joining us.